Hi guys and welcome back into a new video. Today is a good day because today we are going to talk about the over app. You know how I like to design everything on it so I thought it would be nice to finally share about an app that I use every day. So we are going to do an over app tutorial for beginners. <music> with the app over you can find it on the Google Play if you have an Android and on the Apple Store if you have an iPhone the over app is free to download however if you want to have all the features that the app is offering you have to get the subscription I pay an hundred dollar a year to get over pro however you can also pay $14.99 a month anyways I am using over app for about everything my Instagram post stories, Facebook cover, YouTube banners, logos. I do everything on the other app. I'm going to go into like a complete tutorial, like a complete walkthrough of the app. I am using Over Pro, so obviously a lot of things I'm going to show you I'm able to do them because I paid for the app. So if you are using the free version know that there's some stuff that you won't be able to do but anyways if you follow along and you're like I can do what she's doing is because I paid for pro you can use over on your iPad your phone and also your computer anyways let's go okay so here we go so we are in um, my ipad uh, if you want to know everything about my ipad i made a video and i am telling you what on my ipad pro so you can know uh, all about those apps over here but anyways here we are and this is the other app over there so your uh, icon is probably white and yellow mine is all those cute colors because i changed the icon when you have over pro you can actually do that so let's get into the app when you enter the app you will have the section discover so here you have some ids on how to create the multiple exposure effect grab attention with notification reminder those are some ids and some tutorials on how to do some stuff on the app they help you go through some of the trend that what's going on how to choose and save your brand color and palette so if you click on this you will be able to you know follow the tutorial about how to make your own color palette so that's the discover part then you will have template the plus this will be to make projects so welcome to this letter you have teams this is only if you pay for that version of over to collaborate with um, your clients or your teammate if you have a business and you have project and here on projects this is all of the design you've ever made in the app. folders so here are all all the folders to get organized schedule posts because you can schedule your design into um instagram for example anyway so let's go back to template template is really nice let me tell you why so template are pre-made video instagram story facebook post whatever you are thinking of pre-made things that you can edit so for example if you really like this video i would say that's an instagram post video because of the square and you see 10 seconds so if we click on it you can see that is already made but you can totally edit anything you'd like so if you don't like that video you will edit or replace so let's do replace and it's going to bring you to your video or you do over videos and you can choose for whatever video you're thinking like let's take that champagne okay and here you are you just you have to resize obviously to make it go to the square and if you want to change the text you can also change the text put whatever you want happy new year whatever and yeah here we are and if there's something you really like and you wish to make but 
yet add your own brand color or your own pictures and titles you can for example i really like these designs i've made with those leaves and everything and you can just you know change replace the images put your own images and use it as you like if you are looking for something specific you can go into the top and look at everything they have here so instagram post invitation profile pictures you have different categories business card banner ad but for example you're looking for something like i don't know business logo and here are some business logo you can use and redone and make it your own if you like doing stuff from scratch like me you'll go directly here and start your design from scratch once again you have some layouts that you can use that it's already made so you have some layer that you can use those are instagram stories as you can tell so you can use any of the templates and put your own picture and there are some layered collections that you can use so we are into the create section over here and it tells you everything that you can use so that's the layout you have to start by choosing your background so either you can take an image from your camera roll or a video from your camera roll or from the other videos or from Unsplash. for example we're going to start with an image we're going to take an image from and splash and from here you can choose the image of your choice let's go with this one from here you will have to choose the size so let's make for example an instagram star and this will automatically put the size of 1080 to 1920 once you're done check mark and here you go you can start your design with an image back what i like to do i always start my design with a transparent background from there I'm adding video or an image. This is always what I do. So I'm going to start with a transparent bag and I will choose Instagram story or Instagram portrait. And so here we are with our blank transparent background, the right size. And from here, as I said, you can add your image again. Doesn't really matter. You will just have to resize this. Or you can add a video, a video that you have or other videos. And you can make some research like you want water and here are all the videos about water that over is offering you so video i think it's in the pro version of over so if you using over for free you won't be able to use their video stock i've been using over pro for about two years now so i don't even remember what was at the time but i know that a lot of things is pro this is why i took it so anyways you can just use this as your background and it doesn't matter if you add an image on the on the back because it deleted it so you can add an image on this background for example let's add this cute dog and this will always go on the top of your video your video always will be the background you cannot put a video over an image so you probably wonder what is she doing here here are my layers it's like Photoshop or um, Procreate if you ever use those apps. Those are layers. So this is layer one and layer two. What it's on the above will show above the one that it's on the behind, if that makes sense. So for example, I'm going to add an other picture. And so this one is above the dog because in the layers, the man is above the dog. But if I drag the man under the dog, the dog will go above the man. Sometimes, you know, I don't know if I make sense, but since you can see, I guess, I guess it's fine. Let's add an image that says, you know, summer because we put some water on the back. So let's do this lady. From there, you see that you still have text and graphic also shape let's go into shape i do think that shape is inviolable with over pro only i know that sucks but this app is so cool guys that it deserves to be paid for so here are all the shape that you can use obviously you'll be able to edit them as well so let's go with um round shape from here you can go and do whatever you feel like to make that round stay round use your finger to resize it if you use one of the corner, you can move the shape this way and you will never go back to the round you had. So just, you know, use your finger for it. So we're going to put this round there and we're going to use the layer again to put the round under the layer. And now you're like, yeah, but if I want this picture to be around too, 
Well, guess what? When you click on the picture, you can edit it. And here you have all those options. And you can also crop and make it a cycle. So here we are. This is what we do. Ta-da! We have our cycle. And you can use your finger to zoom in. And here we are. If we click on the picture again and do edit, you have filter. So you can use any of the filters that is provided by Over. And you can adjust as well. Anyways, you have tons of good options. Then you can uh, resize it here too, but I am using my fingers to do so. You can add a shadow. This is what I really like. So I like a little shadow and some blur. And you can also change the angle of the shadow wherever you feel like it will be better. I'm going to this, blur it a little bit more and make a little bit dark. Then you can also do the opacity. You can blur your picture. And my favorite ever, ever, ever thing is the mask option. So obviously you can mask stuff. So here, if I want to erase this part of the image, I can just use my mask and I'll go like this. There you go. So here I mask only this part. If I want to have back that again, I just go on this one and I can unmask. And those one are just smooth edges. So instead of my edges to be extremely sharp like this, my edges will be smooth. You know what I mean here? It's smoother. It doesn't make like a shot. So you can add this. And if you want to go into the detail, sure, you can zoom in. And so it will be easier for you to make any changes in your picture. You also have blend. If you want to blend your picture with another background. So yeah, you have tons of options. Here. here you have text. Let's write summer. And from here, you can go in this little arrow here that will bring you to the library of fonts. And as you can see, you are not out of fonts. Let me tell you that. They are making this really fun and you can get really beautiful fonts that you can use. But if you want to use your custom font, this is some that I downloaded. You just go into custom add font go into your wherever you um, find your font and add it from here and now when i go to download my font is here and you can also change the font over here because some of them the one that you used will be on the bottom there and change the color then you can resize it and add some shadow these same exact settings that you have when you want to edit a picture so i'm not gonna go into the details and my favorite part is the graphic love love graph so here into the graphics and you will find collections of artists that share their graphic in the app that are the graphics that i collected and saved that is the latest graphics that has been added to the app like the latest collection the latest graphic and obviously there is my logo over there so you can search for summer here you have a collection about summer and here you have graphics about summer so here is a really cute dolphin that we can add i want the dolphin to be in between my shape and my picture so what i have to do of course is bringing the dolphin in between those two so my dolphin is going out of the picture and i want the dolphin to be on the other side so i have to rotate the graph so here is the rotate and i want my dolphin to go this way there you go look at those cute graphics hello summer and you can also add shadows to your graphics this is what i really like if there is something that you really want into your design but can't find into the graphic that is i know over pro kind of feature you will go into images here and here it says png or google png is all the png that i have in my um ipad i believe is the one i already made like like those but if you go into google and you search for something it will only bring you the results that are in png meaning in transparent background so let's look for ice cream this is the results i get with png background for example those two i'm not sure they're working out there's a fake pin so let's use this one and here i am be careful on what you're searching for when it comes from google make sure that you if you sell this design make sure you have the license for it that you don't have to buy anything anyways this is just an example so i wanted this to be on the top but it can also be in between the font and the picture like this basically yes this is what you can do Ooh. I walked on my dog! 
there you go we did it the walk through over hopefully you guys learned something today about this graphic design app if you were new to the app i hope it was really easy to understand i really think you will enjoy making some cool design uh, on the other app if you have any question and if you want to know more about this amazing app please let me know in the comment down below i will make another video with any request you have and don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads until next time take care bye